we focused on the idea of creating major points of interest or nodes of distinction based on their function and usage of the area around it. Further connecting these nodes together with major roads and sub-areas that complement and provide experiences around the area, we were able to create a cohesive plan while still maintaining different functions to make each node unique. Furthermore, inspired by what we saw from Burnham, we made public and private spaces feel different both through their design and usage of space. The public areas mainly being civic spaces are more open and spacious to allow for the neoclassical designs to imbue power and grandeur, allowing these important heritage sites to be highlighted and appreciated. In contrast, the residential and private areas are compact and intimate to reinforce the idea of community and human-centric design. The design and overall usage of the land has given us an efficiency ratio of 68% relative to the land that is available to us to use as saleable land. The respective spaces of the more civic and heritage structures, everything left of the LRT station, plus the Arasaras Forest Park, were excluded from the overall land consideration in calculating the efficiency ratio. Moreover, on the functionality and usage of each node in specific, each node, depicted in red, highlights a different aspect of the community. The public space was carved out based on the flow of pedestrians and their destinations to create spaces that act as a resting point to view and enjoy the new Manila City Hall and the Metropolitan Theater. The pedestrian overpasses allows the green spaces to be connected despite the streets that divides it. It was also designed to act as a way to shade the users under it waiting on the public transport stops. To maximize its space under further, it can be further developed into a pavilion in further detailing the area to allow it to be a flexible space. Standing at the center of the public space dedicated to the San Miguel area is the mosque. Its placing and wide open space around it heavily contrasts the narrow streets of the area surrounding it. This was done to let the structure stand out and draw people towards it. Its positioning also puts it directly in front of the esteros, making it a vista from the other end of the water. The community plaza, located in the center of the residential area, is meant to act as if a hidden area that you stumble upon while finding your way through the many streets and corridors of the area. This is a green space meant to bring life into the area and help create a unique setting for the public library and recycling centers of the location. The sports complex and hippodrome is meant to be a community area wherein any and all types of sports can be played. By blending the facilities of multiple sports, it creates a giant play area for the people that is surrounded by vistas, mainly being the Intramuros Wall and the Fine Arts Museum. The amphitheater creates an environment that embraces culture and arts. Situated in between the Metropolitan Theater and the former City Hall, it was important to blend the purpose of both structures to create a new experience for the people coming down from the LRT station or simply passing through the area. It was a designated space for street performers and performances to draw a crowd and help in creating the ambiance of the site. The left side of the site is more open and spacious, alluding to its more public and civic nature, allowing the individual heritage buildings to have enough room to breathe and let them be highlighted when traversing through the area. The scale and sizes of the nodes were considered to be in proportion to the size of the important spaces that it highlights to respect the historical significance of the building and the spaces they inhabit. The other side of the site is a more compact and intimate residential area. This gives a more personal touch to the area, letting the occupants really feel in touch with their community and the area around it. The many streets and corridors of the area have different widths and lengths, adding to its complexity. This was done to make it feel as if going through a labyrinth and giving the feel that there is so much to explore and see when going through the area. This was complemented by the different specific buildings created in order to contextualize the area better. Through this exploration, you will find yourself in either the community plaza or the mosque area, as they greatly open up upon entering their respective locations. The pedestrian pathways were developed based around the idea that you can walk all throughout the site without the roads being obstructed through the lines of nodes created. Different alternate paths were created in order to connect the minor nodes efficiently while staying true to the identity and idea that spaces can be explored freely in different ways. We took into account the distances from one area to another and ensuring the comfort of pedestrians as they traverse through the area. 
According to our research, other countries such as the U.S. consider 1 to 10 blocks or 400 to 500 meters as walkable. Factoring in the differences in climate and temperature, we try to make our distances from area to area even lower than that. Other measurements for comfort that were included were the narrow streets allowing buildings to provide shade, arcaded walkways embedded in the designs of the structures, as will be shown later in the building catalog, and the use of greenery and nature. Based on our studies, cities like Paris showcased a lot of their highlighted areas around the river, serving as views from the opposite bank to elevate each structure's grandeur. This gave the ferry system a lot of potential, by strategically placing most of our points of interest by the riverbanks. The ferry system also becomes a tourist attraction, allowing for unobstructed views of the majority of our highlighted areas. Even the mosque becomes a possible attraction on the possibility of further developing the ferry system to include the Esteros. Based upon our study of the location, we also realize the abundance of bus stops within the area. The presence of heavy foot traffic in, out, and around the site was apparent. In line with our research, we designed spaces around these bus stops to be more pedestrian friendly and inviting while also adding more stops around the prominent areas around the site. In trying to balance the vehicular flow of the area while still promoting a more pedestrian or user-friendly area, we decided to keep the general road layout similar to its current format. The only areas with a major difference would be in front of the new city hall, where the overpasses now go underground cleaning up the area for pedestrian usage by putting pedestrian accesses on top and vehicular under. We reinforced the idea of a pedestrian-centric design and clear up the area for a plaza from where you can properly admire the new city hall and the Metropolitan Theater. In line with how the node systems were developed, the zoning of the spaces catered to specific functions of different demographics. The majority of the site towards the right was developed specifically for the residential communities as it is the highlight of the site. This site is part of the University Belt and has two major public universities. This part of the site would expand the idea of how educational spaces could be by allowing them to become much more accessible to different communities of different ages. This is done by utilizing the facilities and spaces these universities have to the community for their own needs. The GSIS building and spaces near in particular would be spaces that would help give the older demographics educational spaces in order for them to become much more progressive and engaged with the educated youth. This gives them room for having an engaging environment such as workshops and conference spaces to have better civic engagement regardless of age. Social spaces were developed based on the ideas we had about recycling and cultural spaces where it provides a lot of good opportunities for people of all ages to engage with one another to further develop their communities. This can be seen with how the community center in particular is positioned right in front of a plaza to have a space that can be used for different events that the community would like to host or for other reasons they see fit. To support and promote the idea of unifying the social classes and making the communities much more transparent, these are the spaces that provide an attraction for tourists to come and generate income for the communities as they can explore different spaces in the site that eventually leads to other tourist destinations outside of the site. The highlighted cultural spaces are mostly open and available to the idea of how it can be used in different ways, such as exhibits, outdoor performances, art installations, and many more. The educational tourism aspect of the site would be specific towards recycling and possible innovations about it so that it could encourage a lot more innovation and ideas to the youth and how it can be practically used in cities in everyday life. This can be supported by universities to host events about it to showcase different projects and such. And there could be a possibility for the Filipino community in particular to become an attraction about it and becoming a town that is innovative with low-cost recycling 
and cultural performances for the future development of typologies within the site. The viewpoints or vistas of the site were designed in such a way that it contrasts the open and intimate spaces. The two different design languages shown are structured in a way wherein the left side of the site has clear vistas of important buildings and structures that cater to the general population, while the right side of the site has less vistas and shorter distances of views, as it focuses much more on the intimacy of the residential areas and communities in contrast to the idea of making vistas towards a central point only. Shown here is the building catalog. This depicts general building types and forms that populate the site given context to specific areas based on their functions and usage. Thank you.